traders from across the globe and welcome to the 1300th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar and that would be me. Good evening traders, 1300 videos, round of applause there, huh? Alright, our 1300th video happens to turn out to start out with a Red Omni, boo, yes, but it is what it is, right? We've got Red Omnis, we deal with them. Traders, this video is coming to you on a Wednesday night for trading Thursday, that's March 26, 2015. Before we get into what's on the board behind me, please know this, futures trading is extremely risky absolutely causes substantial financial loss is certainly not suitable for all traders this is an opinion taking off the charts directly from the charts of a guy who's been doing this for 33 years so i hope you like what you are about to see all right traders so what's on the board we've got the red omni for the es the nasdaq and the dow traders i came out in the beginning of this week and said the brakes are on I did a video and I said, this week's in vogue formation, the double top. It is exactly what happened. The market's pulled right back from that double top. And so far, we have been in a down move. And that was a perfect call from the Omni. Just absolutely perfect and right on time for the downside to come. At the same time, Omni started getting bullish gold. And now, gold has moved up and is in an Oscarism, I like to call the F flag, and I'll show you those charts. Traders, one of the things I'd like to make you recognize, I want to point out to you in this video is this. There are some fans that write and go, Oscar, you're bullish, you're a perma bull when it comes to the S&P. You're always selling gold, you're a perma bear when it comes to gold. I am so perma nothing, you have no idea. Yes, we've been selling gold for seven straight weeks, and the day gold got busy, Omni went bullish, and I came out with bullish videos. Forget the downside, let's look for upside for gold, just like that. No bias, no hanging on to the thought that I was bearish, so gold must stay that way. I know absolutely nothing about this business. All I know is if I put a chart up in front of me, I can read the chart correctly. The chart tells me what to do, and I tell you. God forbid I ever actually use my own opinion like so many of you analysts out there do. That is where your problem lies. You take what you think is going to happen. You project it on the chart. You come back out and tell the people who follow you, and this is most of you analysts out there, what you think. And I'm here to tell you that I've been doing this 33 years, and I can't think through all the information that's out there. Neither can anybody. So you've got to learn how to read the chart. And the chart told me to tell you that we were in a double top. That's the in vogue formation for the week. And the market would crack the S&P. And it absolutely cracked. Bravo for a great army. In gold, once again, bears, bears, bears for six, seven weeks. Let's sell gold. Omni comes out with the buy. And gold has been going straight up since that day. Bravo again right there. Just pointing out to you that you should never, ever stick to an opinion. What the chart says is what your opinion should be, as long as you read the charts correctly. With that in mind, traders, I want to show you the charts right now. The fantastic double top formation. Why we're still in love with gold, but not really. You know what I'm saying? We like gold. We're not in love with gold. In fact, I'm waiting for the day we can sell it again. That's what we have planned. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, this is the first chart I'm going to show you this evening, and I hope it looks familiar because on Monday evening I came out and said, oh my goodness, the brakes are on. This week's in vogue formation is the double top, and I pointed out one, two, down we should go. That's what it looked like. And that is what happened. I mean, oh my goodness, right? What a great call. So you had top one, top two, and it created the drop. Then on the same day, on Monday afternoon, I showed you the NASDAQ chart. And I said, look, top one, top two, very much like the ES. This is going to hold some weight. That's what it looked like. And this is what happened. I mean, wow, traders. You gotta love technical analysis. So here we are, let's move forward. 
So now you take a look at the Dow Jones Transportation Average, and I have to say, traders, it has been in a flat for a long time. While it's been in a flat, it's very rarely taken out the OTAP or the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. Here it starts to get a little bit wild, and, but look what it did right here. That's the furthest distance that we have seen from the Omni average in a long time. So we have been broad-based and flattening since October of 2014 all the way until today in your transportation average. Every other indice that we look at sort of looks like this when you look at the chart, but this, in this Dow Jones transportation average is flat, right? I mean, it's straight across the screen. Not the best thing that could happen, but at the same time, this very well could be basing for the next massive run-up. We will take this one day at a time, but just showing you that right now with the double top and breaking the Omni, not bullish. We don't have a green Omni, that's for sure. We absolutely have a red one. Then there's this. Let's not lose our hedge, traders. I have shown this video to you, oh, excuse me, I have shown this chart to you many, many times. And I've said, listen, no matter how many times it comes down, the lunatics come out and call the top, right? They call it every time, and it hasn't been the top yet. Well, here we are. We're hold number 10 has happened, and we're coming down to test that spot once again. This ball was hold number 10. It went straight up. Now we're coming back down to test that again, but it happened here on number 9. It happened here on number 8. And I think that it can probably come down, test the line, and still end up bullish. For now, however, with day traders, we're looking to come back and hit that line. So Chartmaster P says, don't get nervous on the weekly, but it is expected to come off a little bit more. And then we've got this look, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average Weekly Bar. And as you can see, staying inside this channel, if you get near the bottom of the channel, you hold, you get near the top, you fall off. Once it broke, most times it does it, hits the top. Hits the bottom, hits the top, hits the bottom. Doesn't quite hit the top this time. Just about hits the bottom, and now here it is doing that. So as you can see, it's in a pretty good pattern. Will it hold here? Well, the likelihood is it should actually hold here, and the upside should resume. Again, we're taking this one day at a time, so for now we're on our way down, and that's the way we're calling it. But the likelihood is this will become a hold, because it has, be has been a hold each time we've gotten there all the way in the past. So, don't get too nervous. There was this reason to think that this market will gain its legs. Then there's the gold traders. Right here, Omni calls for a long position in gold on the same day. It was Monday afternoon. We got above a major trend line. Omni had already had a buy signal earlier that day. That's what the gold looked like when Omni first found it. And this is what happened, traders. Again, that's what it looked like. And this is what happened. We went into an F flag. Wonderful. So we got above the line. Boom, boom, boom. Three days up. Omni's been, Omni has been buying each and every one of these days. And now you're in an Oscarism called the F flag. And there's your F flag right there, well defined. And maybe we'll get one more day out of it. We're taking it one day at a time. But we're starting off trading Thursday with a green Omni in gold. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own analysis. Never accept anyone's technical opinion without doing your own chart homework first. So, traders, you've seen the charts, and there is my technical argument for why we've got the Red Omni starting off the day on Thursday in the E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, the usual suspects. How about a round of applause for those fantastic calls, great analysis that the Omni's been giving us, keeping us in tune with these markets. Let's move forward on, well, I was going to say Monday, but let's move forward on Thursday. Traders, if you like the analysis that you're seeing in this video, come on down to livewithoscar.com. If you really like the analysis in this video, you can come on down to my site, click the OmniCamp banner, and join me for a four-day session held live here in Las Vegas. That will be held June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. It's called OmniCamp. At OmniCamp, I am your instructor, and I will teach you how to come up with the Omni calls exactly the way I show them to you in these YouTube videos. Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator, the Omni. You can get that at livewithoscar.com if you really want education. You come out to Vegas, 
for June 5th through the 8th, and I will be there to teach you how to call these markets based on the chart. And the chart always seems to know what's going to happen next. All right, traders, I hope you liked the video. I hope this helps to keep you in tune with the markets moving forward. Remember, keep your, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop sorry. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.